Okay guys, so today we're going to make this pillow and you can either leave it with the single crochet for your border. Here's the front side, here's the back side. Or you can put the little border on it. So I showed you what it looks like with just that one border. So you could leave it at that if you want, or you can add this beautiful border around this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this project. All right, guys, I'm just using uh, some scrap yarn. It's not going to take very much. I'm just using some green, white, yellow, and coral for these squares. And I'm using a 3.5, see if I can get it to show, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will need a 5.5 millimeter to crochet the back side. So the front side for the squares, we are using the 3.5, and for the back side, we are using a 5.5. We need a pair of scissors and a needle, yarn needle. So the pillow form I'm using is a 12 by 16 inch. That's 30.4 centimeters by 40.6 centimeters. And I bought this at Michael's. It's loops and thread pillow form. So this will be a rectangle pillow form. And you will need some fabric clips. And I get these on Amazon. All right, I'm going to show you the color flow sequence. You may want to snapshot this, write it down, and um, before you go on to start your squares. Okay, guys, so uh, this is how the flow is going to go. And you may want to write this down. So it's um, coral, white, and yellow. Green, white, and coral. Yellow, white, and green. And you can snapshot this image, too. Coral, white, and yellow, so the ends are the same. And then uh, for your middle row here, you're just going to repeat this row for both ends. And then you're going to have yellow, white, and green, coral, white, and yellow. And so for the third row, we have yellow, white, and green, coral, white, and yellow, and green, white, and coral. And the last square will be yellow, white, and green. I went ahead and uh, put two rows together and I'm going to show you how to attach this row to this row here and how to attach the squares to each other. So first we're going to make a square. Now each square when I got finished with these I left a strand of yarn so that I could weave the next square to it. And then what I'll do on this last square is I'll leave a long uh, strand of yarn so that I can attach it all the way across. Okay, so to get started on this, I'm using a medium full weight yarn and I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, now that you have all that written down, let's go ahead and make one of these little small granny squares. So we're going to start with a magic ring. So just wrap the yarn around three of your fingers and form an X. Take your hook and go underneath that one and pull that other yarn through and slip stitch it just like that. And if you're not sure how to do that, you can slow, you can um, rewind this and put it on slow mode and see that really slow if you need to. Otherwise, if you still can't get the magic ring, just chain four, slip stitch into the first chain and um, that will give you like a, a ring okay so we're going to go ahead and chain three yarn over and pull through that's one two and three so now we're going to work two double crochets let's yarn over insert your hook in the ring yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops okay so now you have like three double crochets, the chain, chain three represents a double crochet. So that's one, two, three. You're going to chain one, and we're going to do it again and hold your ring open like this and make three double crochets. That's one, 
two, and three. Now chain one. So you have two sets. We're going to have four sets. So let's do it again. Three double crochets. One, two, and three, and chain one. All right, and if your strand starts getting a little short, you can just pull it a little bit to give you a little bit more string, uh, strand right there. Now let's do one more set. That's one, two, and three, and chain one. So you should have four sets, one, two, three, four. All right, so take your strand of yarn and pull to tighten and close up the hole. So now we're going to slip stitch into the top of chain three. And if you want, you can uh, crochet this in behind or you can weave them in later. And actually, since it's going to be in the back of a pillow, you could actually just tie a knot and um, with the next strand and just cut it in the back. Nobody would ever see it. It's behind the project. Okay, so just slip stitch that, just like that, and then slip stitch into the next stitch, and into the next stitch. Okay, and then when you get to that chain one space, you're going to um, insert your hook, grab your new yarn, which it's going to be white. So grab the new yarn like that, pull through in chain three. One, two, and three. Okay, so I'm going to tie off this, fasten it off. Okay, so in that same chain one space right here, we're going to make two more double crochets. That chain three represents a double crochet. So make two double crochets. That's one and two. Now chain one. And in that same space, make three double crochets. That's one, two, and three. Now chain one. Now we're going to move over to the next chain one space and we're going to work three double crochets that's one two and three chain one now three more double crochets in that same chain space it's one two and three and chain one okay i'm going to go ahead and fasten these off back here okay next in the next chain one space you're going to make three double crochets it's one two Three, chain one, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain one. All right, in the last chain one space, we're going to make, do the same thing, three double crochets, that's one, two, three, chain one, three more double crochets in that same chain one space. That's one, two, three, and chain one. All right, so you just made your four corners of your square. Now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three, just like that. Then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and into the next stitch. Okay, now when we get to that chain one, we're going to 
insert our hook and we're going to grab our new yarn which will for this square is going to be the green there chain three one two and three and you can go to the back and tie that now i'm going to leave this white strand on because my next row is going to be green uh, going to be white so i'm just going to crochet the green in as i go so make two more double crochets in the same chain one space it's one two chain one now three double crochets in that same space you're making a corner here it's one two and three so you should have three double crochets right there in that corner okay so chain one now in this next chain one space right here you're going to make three double crochets and this is not a corner so you're just making three double crochets and chain one i actually call this the runway Okay, now in your next chain one space over here, it is your corner. So you're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, three more, three more double crochets in that same space because this is your corner. It's one, two, and three chain one now we're on the runway so in this space right here three double crochets it's one two and three chain one okay, so now we're back in the corner again so in that chain one space you're going to make three double crochets one two three chain one three more double crochets one two and three and chain one now we're back on the runway again so three double crochets one two three and chain one we're on our last corner right here so in that chain one space going to make three double crochets one, two, three, chain one, three double crochets, one, two, and three, and chain one. Now we're on the runway again, so three double crochets, it's one, two, and three. So now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Just like that. Slip stitch into the next stitch. The next stitch. And then that puts you right there where the chain one space is. So now you're going to grab your white yarn that you had hanging back here. Grab that yarn and pull through, chain three, one, two, and three. Now in that same stitch, you're gonna make two double crochets and I'm gonna go ahead and crochet my green yarn in as I go. If not, you can fasten it off and weave it in. Okay, that's one and two, chain one. And since it's a corner, we do three more double crochets. That's one, two, and three and chain one now we're on the runway and you see we have two now and you're going to double crochet double crochet and double crochet and chain one we're still on the runway so we just do three in the next chain one space that's one two three double crochets chain one now that's going to put us in the next corner and I'm going to go ahead and fasten off this green. I'm 
Okay, so in that chain one space in the corner, we're going to make three double crochets. That's one, two, three, chain one, three more double crochets. One, two, and three. All right, guys, I will meet you all the way around when you get to here. Okay, so I just finished my last chain. So now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And into the next stitch. And the next stitch. And into the chain one space. And we're going to fasten this off. Now this, since this happens to be the um, end of my row, I want to attach this whole row to the previous row. So I'm going to leave a long strand of yarn to be able to do that. Now, if this was one of the other three squares on this row, then I would just have done a smaller strand, okay? So let's go ahead and attach this square to these three and I want to leave this strand up at the top right hand corner. So all we do is just, we're going to fold those over, put back to back like that. And let's thread our yarn needle. Okay, so we're going to attach at the corners here. And then make sure you get these little chain one spaces together so that it will all be even all the way across. Okay, now I'm on the very last one. Let's see how that looks. All right, so now I'm ready to go ahead and weave this in so we can fasten this strand off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. All right, so now we need to go ahead and weave in this long strand that we have at the end of our row. So what you'll need to do is each one, you'll leave a strand of yarn and you'll connect the pieces as you go. So now that I've got these four, I've got to attach them to these. I've, like you saw earlier, I've already done attached one row to my second row, and this is our last row. And we just gotta attach this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to flip this over and have the front match in the front. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to make sure the fronts, the right sides are facing each other, and we're going to connect this all the way across. And then, like I said, you need to make sure that the um, chain one spaces are together. So grab your yarn needle. This is going to be a long strand of yarn. So try to not let it get um, twisted. And you just go all the way across. 
And like I said, make sure you're matching your chain one spaces. Just like that. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing that all the way. Like that, all the way across, and I'll meet you at the end. When you get to the end, go ahead and just weave it in. And then fasten it off. All right, so you have finished your granny squares for the front panel. Okay, so we are going to start off, we're going to chain 49. So just in, uh, put your hook behind your strand of yarn and twist it around like that. Grab the yarn and pull through the loop on your hook. So that was one chain, grab your yarn, pull through the loop on your hook. That's two chain. And so just continue this till you have 49 chains okay so i now have 49 chains now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook so skip that first chain that's next to the hook and in this next chain we're going to single crochet and if you want you can go ahead and put a stitch marker there so that you can keep up with that first chain i mean that first single crochet okay so now we're going to single crochet in each chain all the way across and you should have 48 single crochets for row one okay so i will meet you when you get to the end of this row okay so i just finished my last single crochet and so there are 48 single crochets on row one so for row two we're going to chain three one, two, and three. We're going to turn our work. And now we're going to work in the back loop. You see how you have a front loop and a back loop, front loop and a back loop. We're going to work in this back loop all the way across. So this chain three represents a double crochet. So we're going to start in this loop right here. So yarn over, insert your hook in this back loop Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So you have two right there. And just continue that. Insert your hook in this back loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Let's do the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook in this back loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, so you now have one, two, three, four. You should have the same amount on this row as you do on the previous row. So just continue working a double crochet in the back loop all the way across, just like that. Now I will meet you when you get to the very end. There's your back loops right there. You may have to turn it over to look at it. All right, I'll meet you when you get to the end. Okay, so I just finished my last one. So for row three, we're going to chain one, turn our work. Now this time we're going to work in the front loops of this row here. So we're going to work in, in the front instead of the back. And they're going to be single crochets. And so you should have the same amount of single crochets as you did the previous row. You see how I'm working in this front loop only? Right there. See, it's in the front loop. I'm not getting both loops. It's just the front loops right there. All right, I will meet you when you get to the end and you should have 48 single crochets.
for here on out, you're just going to continue repeating row two and three. So you have a single crochet row and a double crochet row. Double crochet, you're going to be working in the back loop. Single crochet, you'll be working in the front loop. All right, so I will meet you back. Okay, so once you finish this, what we I did is I did rows two and three a total of 12 times. So now, go ahead and keep your yarn on. And actually, you can have any color of back side that you want that's in your little pattern here, your colors. I just chose to use the coral here. All right, go ahead and leave this on because you're going to single crochet around. So this is your back side. So what you want to do is lay this wrong side up. And then you're going to take your front side and make sure you got right side up on it. Where we left off right here, we're going to single crochet all the way around um, all three sides. So first of all, you'll need to go ahead and take your fabric clips and piece this together like this. If you get the corners, you can pretty much stretch the fabric as needed, for the two panels as needed to make it things fit. Okay, so just continue doing that on all three sides, leaving, leaving one side open so you can insert your pillow. Okay, guys, I went ahead and fastened mine off because um, I needed this side open in order to go around and then on the other side and back up. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the side that I have this on. Okay, so I'm going to grab my yarn. Grab my crochet hook. And we're going to start in the corner here. And here's how I start this. I grab the yarn, I pull through, and then I grab that strand of yarn that I'm working with and then slip stitch it like that. And that kind of locks that in. Then I chain one. All right, so I'm going to crochet that original strand and the strand that I just, from this new strand, um, of yarn right here. I'm going to crochet those in. So we're going to have two single crochets in each corner. Here we go. Now just crochet all the way across. Single crochet just like that. Make sure you're grabbing both um, make sure you're grabbing the front and back panel. And just keep crochet single crocheting all the way down. And when you get to the end to the corner, do two single crochets in the corner and then continue single crocheting. Okay. And I will meet you when you get over to this side. Okay, so now we've got three sides done. And I did two single crochets in each of the corners. So now we're going to insert our pillow. I left uh, one side open.
Okay, so now you're going to um, put clips on these so that you can finish single crocheting around. So just like that. Okay, I'm going to finish single crocheting that around and then we're going to slip stitch to this first stitch. Okay, so I just finished this last edge and now we're going to slip stitch into our beginning single crochet, just like this. And now we're going to weave this in with our yarn needle. Okay, so there is your pillow. This front, here is your back. Okay guys, now it's time to make that decision if you wanna put the border. And I have chosen green to for my little border here. And you can start anywhere you want. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start in the corner here. Just insert your hook in the stitch Leave a strand of yarn right here. Grab your yarn, pull through, and take that strand of yarn and yarn over and pull through and tighten it. Okay, chain one. All right, go ahead and make a single crochet right there. Now, the way the pattern is going to go is you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch like that and you're going to chain six one two three four five and six and go ahead and slip stitch into that same stitch just like that single crochet in the next stitch slip stitch into the next stitch chain six one two three four five and six and slip stitch into that same stitch single crochet in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat this all the way around it doesn't matter if you come to your corners or not just still going to continue working all the way around okay i will meet you when you get finished just remember it's single crochet Slip stitch into the next stitch, chain six, slip stitch into that same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then just continue working that pattern. And if you need to, you can rewind this and look at the pattern again. Okay, so I just came to the end and I just did my chain six, slip stitch in the same stitch. Normally I would single crochet here, but see I started with a single crochet. So I just want you guys to know that it's not a big deal of, you know, having a stitch left over. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that first single crochet. See, it doesn't really change anything. So if you have one left over, please don't fret about that. Just go ahead and just, um, so go ahead and just skip right over it. Okay, so now we're going to thread our yarn needle. I, I went ahead and cut my yarn. Got it.
and be sure and cut this off. Okay, so there it is with the fringe. All right, guys, um, that's all that I have for this video. Hope you enjoy this. And uh, just you can use your own colors. This just happens to be the colors that I chose. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.